and welcome at cloudbackuping.com. My name is Mauricio and in this video we're going to have a look at the SOS online backup restore process. In the last video we had a look at the backup online procedure um, of SOS online backup and it really was quite easy to do that and we didn't have any problems to back up our data. And in this video we're going to have a look at whether the most important part, the recovery process works flawlessly because if you lose your data you are definitely going to want your data back as fast as possible and this is what we're going to test in this video. So when you want to recover your data with SOS Online Backup you just click on restore at the top right and then you are going to be forwarded to the first step where you can search for backups to recover from and um, the good thing is that SOS Online Backup stores an unlimited amount of backup versions that you can select from in the date uh, selector on the left and on the right you can actually select um, special files for example if you have if you only want to back up movie files that are above of 100 megabytes you can just type in 100 in here or you can select just file types which you want to back up especially if you only want to back up your photos for example or you can search for a file name but we want to back up everything, so we just uh, select on select next, and we're going to select here the folder uh, we backed up previously, and this is, as always, our test folder of one gigabyte in size, and we can view if everything is backed up correctly and, and views correctly here in the file browser, and we can deselect files if we want to, or or reselect files if necessary, and in the third step, we're going to specify a location where we want to back up and restore our data and you can even restore it for example on an external hard drive if you wish so this is what we're going to select right here and after that is done you can just click on finish and then your recovery process should be initiating directly so let's click on finish and here we are and we can see a detailed recovery progress and this is exactly what I wanted for the online backup process, but it wasn't available in the software. Now I'm more than glad that I can actually review the recovery progress live and in action. So I'm going to fast forward here the video a little bit and then we see how fast it actually recovers our data. The overall process actually didn't take too long. I think it took about two hours or so. And now we are going to um, browse directly the folder where we have stored it. You have the option to open the folder directly after the recovery or go into it manually if you have stored it into a special location or if you just have uh, the folder right at hand. So let's browse our folder and see whether everything has been backed up correctly. And as you can see, it also recovered the whole file structure. So the folder is into C, Users, Mauricio, Desktop, Cloud, Backuping, and then Test Files. And there, everything is there and works perfectly. And the restore process has been done completely and perfectly. So if you had a complete system crash and lost your data entirely, you can be absolutely sure that you can recover your data with SOS Online Backup. So if you like this video, please leave a comment and vote for it on YouTube. Or if you have an own blog, you can also write a blog post about it and I would be more than happy to get a link from you. And we're going to see us in the next video. So see you next time. Bye bye.